Too Loud by David A. Miller When I was just a tiny monkey, I could hear my dad making that deep, hooping roar that howler monkeys do, and I thought it was great. My mum always told me that when I grew up, I would be just like dad, but I can't even practice the smallest roar without her telling me, shh. Thinking back, mum must have been confused because nobody ever tells dad to shh. Not even the big bad puma who lives down on the forest floor. So I decided it was time for me to find a place to practice my own roar, whatever it might be. So one day, I swung through some trees, thinking to myself, where can I practice? That's when it came to me. What about the big rock by the river? Nobody was ever there. When I got there, I took a deep breath and... <coughs> Shh, you're too loud, said the giant bald eagle that was flying high in the sky. It's not fair, I thought to myself. How did he even hear me way up in the air? So I sat on my bottom on the rock and scratched my head and even picked my toe and then it came to me. There was a big cave where I'd never seen anybody before. I should go there, I thought. When I got to the big dark cave, I took five steps in and took a deep breath and... <coughs> Shh! You're too loud, growled a voice from the back of the cave. It was a humongous brown bear who just happened to be sleeping in the back of the cave. How did he even hear me if he was sleeping, I thought. So I sat down on my bottom again and scratched my head and wiggled my fingers, thinking where to go next. Then it came to me, what about the waterfall at the start of the forest? Well, when I got to the waterfall at the edge of the forest, I looked around and it was all clear, not another animal in sight. So I stood at the foot of the waterfall and took a big breath and... <coughs> Shh! You're too loud, came a voice from under the water. It was a really long alligator with lots of teeth. He popped up from under the water. This isn't fair, I thought to myself. How did he even hear me from under the water? Once again, I sat down on my bottom, scratching my head and rubbing my tummy trying to think where I could practice my roar with the waterfall gushing behind me. Then it came to me. What about a hole? Surely nobody will hear me there. I went to the biggest hole in the ground I could think of. There was a huge tree here before, but it fell down last rainy season. I thought, this will be perfect. Nobody is here to hear me. So I hopped in the hole and took a big breath and... Shh! You're too loud, came a voice from the other end of the tunnel. It was a groundhog who just happened to be extending his tunnel system. I thought to myself, this isn't fair, I give up. As I sat there, I thought to myself, how am I ever going to get as good as Dad if I never get to practice? I decided to go home. I swung home through the trees, past the waterfall where the long alligator with lots of teeth lives, past the big dark cave where the humongous grumpy bear was sleeping, finally past the big rock where the giant bald eagle was flying. When I got home, my mum said, where have you been, love? I told her all about my day. Then my little brother stepped on my paw and... <coughs> came out of my mouth. My mum said, See, love, you sound just like your dad. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com Free stories for kids. <laughs>